I had a whole intro for this filmed and I accidentally deleted it because <laughs> it's just it's just like the universe is just it's just testing me it just wants me to like and also I have a booby shirt on and if you can see anything popping out no you didn't just kind of think of it like have you ever seen one of those um bumper stickers on a car oh by the way i started using this because trixie mattel told me to and apparently you can use too much of it and i learned that the hard way yesterday when i put some on before work but anyway back to what i was saying about my shirt have you ever seen one of those bumper stickers it's like if you see a kid fall out honk well don't honk if you see something fall out just keep your mouth shut and know you didn't but anyways, I used this yesterday before I went to work and I used entirely, entirely too much of it. Like, I got to work and I was like, why does my face feel like, like goo, like mud, like, like trash? And all day I was, do I was doing the thing where I was like, don't look at me. I mean, I always do that, but I was doing it a little more. Oh, and this is me getting mad because there was a hair tickle in my face and it made me mad. And also, I totally forgot that I used this beauty sponge to like smooth out some lipstick earlier. And I was like, fuck it. I don't care. I just want to look hot today. I just want to look pretty, especially after yesterday, especially after I had to power through a whole shift at work in the most uncomfortable face of makeup I have worn in so fucking long i don't think i showed you guys what i'm using here but it's the same damn thing that i'm always using and yes i look confused because i am confused i'm confused why i can't wake up hot like i'm so mad like listen guys listen oh there's me showing what i'm what i'm using and getting mad about it but listen, I started this journey to lose like a lot of weight. I was like, okay, my liver is shot. You know, I have to lose weight. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, then I get on TikTok, right? I get on TikTok. Ground zero. Everything fucking starts at TikTok. Is that, isn't like ground zero like the end of things or whatever? Listen, don't just, just don't take anything that I say seriously because obviously I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, right? But anyways, I was on TikTok and I'm like scrolling through and I keep coming across these beautiful, hot, chubby girls on my For You page. And I'm like, I want to be you. I want to be a chubby girl in a crop top. Why can't that be me? Why can't that be me? And my husband is like, hey, put on a crop top and it will be you. So then I was on Instagram, which is also where a lot of shit starts in my life. And by that, oh, oh, this is me having a crisis. This is me having a crisis because I want to look hot today, but I don't know what to do with my eye makeup. And also I want Starbucks. And also I have, we don't talk about Bruno stuck in my head really badly. And then I ultimately just decided to do what I normally do, which is pull out my doll face blush and just make myself look like I got punched in the face um back to back to my story whatever i was talking about oh yeah so i was on instagram and i was creeping eleanor neal who is one of my favorite youtubers and she had this wonderful beautiful brilliant amazing uh booby shirt on and i was like i want it i want it so I ran to Amazon and I got the poor person equivalent of this shirt. And oh my God, I can't remember where I'm going with this. Oh my God, what was I talking about? Anyways, I put it on and I felt hot, right? And I posted a picture of myself in it. Oh my God, I remember where I was going with this. And Eleanor commented on it that I looked hot. So basically, now I'm like, do I want to lose any more weight or do I want to be a hot chubby girl in a crop top? And then my ass ran and bought some bathing suits because I, for some reason, am like beaming with this self-confidence that I've never had before. Like, I don't even care if people see my stretch marks. And that is, what am I doing? Oh, this is me fighting with my with the packaging for my for my eyeliner. I don't know how to open packaging. And I used to like listen, in other videos I blamed my nails. It's not my nails, but my nails right here are short. I'm just stupid. That's all that it is. I'm just fucking dumb. Like 
I could get a package in the mail and it could have a little tab that all you have to do is pull up and the whole thing will pop open and my ass will literally gnaw at that package like a rabid gerbil to get it open instead. Like I always take the path of most resistance. But anyways, I decided to be a hot chubby girl in, in a crop top, you know? And, like, let the world see my stretch marks and all that shit. Like, I don't care anymore, you know? Like, I'm in my 30s. I'm just done with shit. I'm done hating myself. I'm done, like, whatever. I'm just done, you know? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm just done. But I've lost, like, 32 pounds. And my liver's doing better. Oh, my God. Don't perceive me in this. Oh, my God. I left that in there? I left that in there? Anyways. Anyways. I'm in my 30s. I'm just over it. So I've lost 32 pounds. My liver is doing better. I may lose like another 15 or 20, but then I'll lose my butt. And it took me a really long time in life to get a butt. I was a bony ass for a very long time. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to give her up yet. But I just want to be a hot chubby girl in a crop top. And I just want to wear a lot of makeup, which I've been doing since I was 12. Why do I look confused? What do I want? What am I doing? Girl, I filmed this 30 minutes ago and I can't remember what the hell I was thinking or what I was talking about. Like, I know I was sitting here in silence. I had music going in my head, but there was like not actually anything happening in the room. So what the hell was I thinking? What was going through my brain right there? Right now, right there, right now right there and you know what's really funny is i can't go back and edit my voiceovers i have to do this all in one take i can pause it but if i fuck up i have to go back and re-record the whole fucking thing so i just don't so you just get all of my speech impediments because i have a little tiny tongue that gets tied sometimes it's like too short oh and by the way these are the most uncomfortable fucking lashes i have worn in so long i don't even know what brand they are but i overslept this morning and i didn't feel like leaving the house so i was like great i have to wear these gross eyelashes again and no matter how i trim them no matter what i do the son of a bitches are so damn uncomfortable girl oh and then and then a trick that i do is i put my uh i put my eyeliner on after i put my bottom uh mascara on because it like creates this boundary because if i don't like hit those eyelashes with the mascara on it i will just keep going i'll just keep going you know and today i just wanted subtle bottom eyeliner how you doing <laughs> Oh, that was a, the very flattering angle. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a Nick or not a Nick. Oh my God! NYX is my eyeliner. I'm using an e.l.f. contour palette, which I need to go replace because I'm all out of every color that I use. Look at my little turkey neck. It just makes me think of that one Migo song where they're like, she's got a little turkey neck, neck, neck. Yes, I do. And it's hot girl shit. Hot girls have a turkey neck. And this is me building my nose because I have a wide, flat nose. And every time I talk shit about my nose, I get people in my comment. They're like, you have to love it and embrace it, girlfriend. And I'm like, yes, I know. But I also don't have to like myself 110% of the time, you know? Sometimes you just gotta let out a little bit of self-hatred. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta gotta openly talk about how much you hate your facial features and i can't really i can't really do that i can't really do that because people get mad at me but you know what just because you see me as one way does not mean i see myself that way as well and by the way i am using wet and wild eyeliner I'm out of breath. I told y'all I have to do this in like one take. And I know that I'm sitting here like fantasizing about Starbucks this entire time. I'm like, I just want some fucking Starbucks. I just want a oat milk shaken espresso and a cake pop. So you know that I texted my husband and was like, hey. And he was like, all right. And this is me using the Killstar lipstick stuff that I... I can't remember. Dusk. Dusk is the name of it. God damn it. 
you know, when I when I first tried their lipstick, I really didn't like it. And now it's like my favorite thing ever. But I would not pay $16 for it. I'm just telling them. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying. It's not a $16 lipstick. Even though it is really pretty. I am broke. What the hell is wrong with me with leaving this in there? Oh, I'm doing this new thing too where I wipe off the makeup on my face tattoos. Because I talk about having face tattoos and people are like, where? I don't see any. I have five. I have a giant butterfly, a little tiny baby moon, a heart, a star, and some sparkles. I call them my little baby lucky charm. My little baby lucky charm tattoos. I really want some more, but I'm going to work them. Oh, yeah, my husband brought me Starbucks. 